What's going on guys? We are back on the road and we are going to go camping again. Hopefully we get the same spot. It's been exactly one year, like one year ago today, I was doing the exact same thing, driving down this highway, September 30th, 2022, and now it's September 30th, 2023. And we got the same kind of weather. The trees are turning nice and red. Hopefully, you know, Hopefully we can catch some musky, but I doubt it. But yeah, in one year, so much has changed. You know, graduated university, um, pretty much uh, caught the musky, 45 inches, which is good. So hopefully we can catch another one, but I doubt it. Um, never say never though. Today we got good weather, low wind. It's gonna be warmer later on, like 20 degrees. Um, we're about five minutes away from the boat launch. Yeah, hopefully the good camping spot's not taken. I doubt it. So we'll see how that goes. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully this year we catch more fish because last year it was tough. I'm pretty sure I only caught like one one fish last year, which was absolutely ridiculous. Um, like, like for the main day and then Angelo came out. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys at the launch when the boat's all loaded, ready to go. Like I said, hopefully the campsite is, you know, taken. Um, I'm not taken. I'm just... I'm tired, I got bad sleep last night, so we'll see. But yeah, that's what the vibe is. Coming down the road right now to the boat launch. Oh, I saw a truck in front, oh, that's great. I was hoping that no one would be here. Don't mind the dirty windows, but uh, yeah, hopefully there's no one launching their boat or anything like that, because it's literally 8.30. And I swear to God, if somebody is launching their boat, I'm gonna be like, you gotta be kidding me. But other than that, it's so nice. It's literally nine degrees what the uh what the truck says but i don't even care honestly i got my i got warm clothes so we'll be chilling on that I'll adjust the camera there yeah i know just taking this little dirt road to the launch get the boat all ready to go i just want to set up camp and then uh, maybe relax and then start fishing because i got a, a full day of fishing ahead of me so we'll see how that goes i just want to Oh, I realize I don't have any fish crisps. I have like probably enough fish crisps for like one piece. Oh, oh yeah, see the truck up there? He doesn't have a boat, so I think we should be chilling. But yeah, I'll see you guys at the launch. So I got the boat loaded up. Got the gas. Got the musky rod here. Looking super good. Cooler, table, a lot of wood. Got three blue boxes of wood. It's going to be a long night contemplating my existence. Got all of the camping and cooking stuff. Pretty much boat is ready to go. Absolute beauty morning here at the boat launch. Not a cloud in the sky, no wind. Probably going to get skunked, but let's keep a positive attitude going here. Got the speakers for some tunes. Time to launch this guy in the lake and uh, get going. See you guys at the campsite. So we're on the water now beautiful morning I'll just turn the camera around nice like not a single wave glass right now glass no clouds terrible for fishing but whatever honestly I just need to get out you know it's probably the last weekend last it's gonna be one of the last free weekends I have in a long time well besides next weekend but you know what I'm saying so yeah, hopefully we get the campsite. I mean, if we don't, whatever. There's a lot of campsites around here, but the water is low right now. It's crazy low right now. I mean, it's ridiculous. But uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Get camp set up and then start fishing. It's warming up a lot. I put my hoodie on at the boat launch just because it's kind of kind of cold, but it's really not that bad. So. Yeah, I don't know. We don't know what else to say um, besides the fact that it's absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna try my best. If if we land fish today, like big fish, I'm gonna try my best to keep it PG, no swearing. We'll try, you know, no guarantees, but yeah, I don't know what to say. The water level, ooh, it's working against us right now, but you know the vibes. You know, my ears coming out here. I've always said to myself that this would be a good place to put a tent someone actually put a tent there this is right out of the creek i mean such a nice spot such a nice little little tent there what a vibe gets a nice sunrise beautiful absolutely beautiful 
the bay, I mean, the bay is glass right now. The bay is legitimately glass. Like, look how beautiful that is. I mean, it truly doesn't get any better than that. The only thing that would make it better is if I caught a ton of fish, which, I mean, I hope we do. But, like, look at the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. Like, it is shallow, man. Like, it's, it's scary shallow. Like, look at that. That's the bay right now. This is exactly how much stuff you need for one person. I mean, look at all this stuff. This is just for me. Got the cooler, got camping stuff, cooking stuff, tent, blanket, tons of wood, table, all the sleeping stuff. Like it's ridiculous, but this is what you need out here if you wanna if you wanna camp comfortably. You know, it's gonna take me like 20 minutes to get all this stuff ready to go because I walk and move at turtle speed. So we'll see how it goes. I really want a nice big pike today. The goal is a 30 incher because I need to eat. Because I have ribs, I have gnocchi, and I have uh, Caesar salad for supper. But I, obviously, I want to catch fish, right? Eat fish. That's always the goal. Might as well start walking up with some, some stuff. Obviously, fish is always the goal. But it's 9 o'clock now. It's supposed to rain in the morning tomorrow cloudy with showers overnight and then 11 60 percent we'll see how accurate that is and that doesn't really scare me as long as today's okay i can just chill in the tent tomorrow because if i end up going to the musky spot anyways i'll be surprised because i don't really care honestly because i'll be leaving here probably at six and then yeah so enough of me talking though let's get on let's get on the water and let's start catching fish yeah, so before we get on the water, this is what I got for a sleeping setup. I got this kitten. So from, <laughs> from when I was young on a nice gel pillow. Got the sleeping bag underneath. I got this nice warm duvet. And then underneath that, I have a, another sleeping mat or sleeping bag, whatever. Over here, if my dad ends up coming, this just has to inflate. It's taking forever. Um, that over here, pretty much all the junk, all the stuff that I don't need, I just throw over here. It says that this tent is a six man. I doubt it. This is better for like two, three people max. Um, that's all in there. That's good. So this is what it looks like from the outside. Cause it's saying it's gonna rain in the morning. I got this thing tarped up. There's no way that water is getting in this. I am not getting wet. Cause then I'll be miserable. Then I just want to go home. But it's actually such a nice little setup here. Just throw, it's a nice thing about these things. You can just throw everything in there and worry about it later. So I just gotta set up the table, put the stuff, uh, set up the grill, and then, uh, yeah, we'll be on the water for real. All right, so we're at the first spot. We're gonna be putting on the uh, pink spinner bait. It was working well last week. I like the color of the water. We have good wind. You know, I'm hoping for a fish within the first five minutes. But you never know, honestly. This is really good watercolor. Like, ex this is exactly what we want. Angelo caught a nice 30 incher last week. I caught a 30 on the dot. Like, it was 30 on the dot, so. Got a stick in the middle of the bay. I got the net over there on standby. Hopefully, we need to use the big net today. That's always the plan. I would love to use that hook, hook a 50 incher, but who knows, honestly. There we go. Terrible. 
Terrible, terrible, terrible. Okay, let's catch a fish. We missed one there. I saw it hit. I thought it had it. I thought it destroyed it, but I guess it didn't. Let me keep on working around this bay. I don't know where the fish are, though. That's the thing I don't know. Where are the fish? Are they deep? Are they shallow? Are they gone? They just never end up biting my lure. May throw on the musky rod a bit. Funny, funny I talk about that. Let's go. Finally, that's a good fish. There we, there we go. Yeah, this thing has, oh yeah, this thing has some power. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'll put the trolling motor. Oh, let's go. I saw that thing hit. Finally. He has some juice to him. He's a good fish. He's a 30 easily. See him down there. Yeah, oh yeah, he's a really good fish. Oh my God. Oh, I gotta get the net. Oh, oh the net's stuck. Oh my God, he's literally just letting me. Oh my God, this, oh my God. Oh my God, what a, what a nightmare this is. Whoa, yeah, he's a good fish. He's easily a 30 plus. I just don't want to let, I don't want him to go in the weeds. It's like there. Yeah, he's a really nice fish. Oh, come in here. Get in here. Yeah, there we go. Wow, what a nice fish. Woo! Way to start off the morning. I mean, he was literally just letting me get him. And you know what I forgot? The one, one most important thing, I literally hooked him on the eyeball. Oh my God, I hooked him on the, in the eye. No, don't wanna get that on camera. I forgot my pliers. Oh. I mean, this is, oh my God, this is actually stupid. Yeah, of course they're nowhere to be found. Sorry, my life. Whatever, I'll be able to get him. He is going in the live well. Woo! Take a look at that guy. You don't want to see, oh my God. Oh, okay, well, I mean, look at that fish. Just a quality, healthy fish. He's bleeding out the eye right now. Does he have any, no, he has a little mark there. Nothing too big. Don't want to get blood on the carpet. Put him in, oh, there we go. I'll measure him when I get back at the, uh, Back at the camp. Oh, let's go. No luck on that other spot. There was no fish in there. So we're gonna try a little bit inward here in this bay. There's a lot of good weeds here. Feels nice switching from the musky rod to this bass rod. Feels like it's like a kid's toy. It's so light to cast and it's just so nice. We are fighting the elements again. There is like almost no wind and it's sunny. So we can only hope. There we go guys, we're on one. I don't know if, it, if it's big or not. I, I can't tell, but it's, it's going deep in the weeds. Oh yeah, this is a good fish actually. Yeah, it's another nice fish. Okay, yeah, it's another eater. So I'm gonna bring him around. Oh my God, he's gonna go. Yeah, one second. Oh, oh my God, please don't get away. Oh, this is really bad. Oh my God. It's like they're, they're big. Oh, 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 gotta get him. I think he's a hooked good. I just gotta keep him out of the weeds. Is he recording? Yep. Oh, there he keeps on going down. I'm gonna bring him around. Oh, he's barely hooked. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, this is really bad. Come on, please. Please, please, please. Oh, let's go. There we go, boys. Woo! And he's off. I cannot let him fall through the hole because this net actually has a hole in it. Oh, oh. Another beautiful fish. Finally, there we go. Whew. That's what I'm talking about. It's in this bay for, oh, oh, for no more than 
five minutes. It's gonna go in. You hear them going crazy in there. Let's go, man. That's what I'm talking about right there. Woo! Finally. I think this is my first fish in this bay all year, which is kind of crazy to think about. It's gonna be hard netting these things, especially a bigger fish. He's definitely like upper 20s for sure, I would say. I'd say so, but a lot of weeds over there. Yeah, he just came out of nowhere. He just bit and then boom. Okay, I just missed a fish. I just saw him hit. He's following it. He's following it. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, he's right, he's right on it. Oh, he's a big one. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Oh, that's, that's unfortunate. Oh, he hit it, he missed it. I saw him hit it. He's gonna, oh, that's, that's annoying. He's a good fish too, he's another good fish. He's actually bigger than the other one. Of course he doesn't hit it. I just missed, oh, he's still on. He's still on, let's go. I can't tell if, he, if he's still on. No, he's off. Oh, he's on again. He came for a third time. That was awesome. Is it recording? Yep. Okay. Oh my God, let's go. Okay, he's, I can't tell. Oh, he's coming up. Oh, 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 he's a good fish. He's actually probably the best fish of the day. Oh my God, he's really, he's hooked really weird. Okay, yeah, oh yeah, he has a lot of, oh, 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 no, 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 no. Okay, there we go. He's going in the weeds. I got all these nets all over the place. Okay, he's the biggest fish of the day. Oh my God. Oh my God, he's huge. He's huge. He's absolutely, he's absolutely monster. He has a lot of power left. Holy crap. Look at him. He has a lot of juice left, but he's like wrapped around. He's wrapped around. Oh, 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 oh he's really badly. Oh, come on, please come in. Please. Oh, let's go. What a morning. What a morning. I mean, he hit like four times. Still recording? Let's go. I mean, this is the nicest fish of the day, without a doubt. He's an absolute, he's an absolute chunker. Oh my God. Let's get him in the boat. Oh. Wow, look at this, look at that fish. I mean, he is, he's huge. He's an absolute beauty. We're gonna measure this guy too. My GoPro is about to die. Oh my God, let's go, this is awesome. This is like exactly what I want to see right now. Let's get the bump board out. Let's move all this stuff out the way. Wow, what a fish, look at this guy. I mean, he's, he's hooked good. Like, look at the size of this fish. Hooked, barely hooked. Okay, what, what's the size here? There we go. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can tell. Let's put the nose on. Look at that. If I pinch his tail, he's right on 30. Absolutely beauty. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Wow, what a fish. Let me hold him up. Oh, don't bite me. Oh, look at that. Now tell me that ain't a beauty fish. Oh my God. Wow, that's nice. Unbelievable. Unbelievable fish right there. Look at that. For when my dad comes, it's gonna be nice. Oh, what a what an absolute chunk right there. What a chunk. Awesome. So just got back from fishing. Ooh, it's nice and sunny out. Caught, caught those fish, didn't catch any more. We're just messing around. So my dad's gonna be here probably about, I'd say, an hour and a half, maybe two hours. So I might as well just fillet those fish that I caught now. So when we come back, we can just get supper ready and stuff like that. I know I have a fillet table, but I'm, I enjoy filleting on rocks rather than uh, on the table because I don't really feel like cleaning it. And I feel like I actually do a better job on the rock. Got the bag and the knife right there. But I don't know if you can tell. Oh, look how beautiful that water is right now. It's like emerald, it's like turquoise right now. Just at the campsite. So nice, the wind. Just, just enough of a slight breeze coming from the south. Not a single soul out here, exactly how I like it. So yeah, I'm gonna fillet these fish up. I'm gonna show you guys on how I do it. I know this is, I, it's funny, again, this is weird. 
exactly one year ago today I did that. Uh, that was the first time I filleted the fish the new way that I do it. So it's only been a year. I used to fillet just like the five fillet method there for a long time. And when I was a kid, I would only fillet. I would literally just eat the, I didn't even know about Y bones. We would just eat them and just spit them out. We were so stupid as kids, but yeah, I'm going to get those, uh, get those filleted and then make my way over to Killarney in a bit. I'd say maybe an hour or so. My dad has no, he has a cell phone, but he doesn't have a plan. So I have no idea when he's actually going to be there. He just told him he's going to be there around three. So, I mean, I can only hope, but yeah, get those fillets ready to go. Okay, so we're literally on the same rock as we were last year, but the only thing is that I've gotten so much better at filleting. I mean, this is a huge fish. Oh, his fins are going crazy. Look at that, absolute monster of a fillet. There we go. I mean, doesn't get any better than that. You can see the bones quite clearly. And I can, you, you may be able to pick it up on the GoPro. Oh, this one, this one's slicing like butter. I mean, this is actually ridiculous. Do a slit, just a small slit along the lateral line. That's the line that runs right down the middle of the pike. And now just angle your knife up, like up and under. Cause that's the whole goal. You just want to get right under these Y bones. Cause you really want to separate that meat. So now all you do You'll have a little part here, which is just bone. And you cut that, now watch this. This will just peel. Like, oh my God. Look at the size of that fillet. And I'm just running my fingers through, just to make sure. And there's not a single bone in that one. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Picked up dad. <laughs> Complete NPC right now. Yeah, that's a live wall. You're, you're sitting on the live wall. Oh, hey. There you go. What's that boat over there? Huh? We're almost there. Our island's right up ahead. <laughs> so what are we saying dad hey back in check here eh? yeah yeah it's good to be back at least once a year no i know it might be the last weekend of the season yeah i know look at that fishing boat over there see it's actually it's very nice right now i don't know if that's a fishing boat though I couldn't tell you. Uh, definitely has a boom in the front or something. something. There's no wind right now here. There's no wind. Ty, when you go with the camera, always go slow. <sighs> no, you go too slow. No, no, you want it slow, eh? <laughs> it's like Gollum, eh? Yeah, can't, can't with the cringe right now. Oh my gosh. But yeah, no, no, it's good up here. Yeah, it's good. All right, I got a truly. We're gonna have a Henning or beer here, boys. Yeah. The 4.8 is in like number eight. 4.8 percent. Yeah, that. That's <laughs> it. Cheers, amigos. Yeah, cheers. Oh my gosh.
Okay, here we have fresh northern pine. Yeah, it's good. That's that's a good one. Uh, that is good. There's gonna be no bones in these ones either. So right now we're cooking this. Get a good sear on that. Like this will bite. This will this will break in your here. Since you're recording, you take off this thing. This will break apart in your mouth. I'm telling you right now. This is what it's all about. This is really living right here. This is you know you work all week and you want to have some fun in life. There we go. And there's the boat. All right. So after a long day, fish fish good. Caught some good fish. We're up here on the island. Take a look at that nice sunset in the back. Ooh, beautiful. We're out here with Dad. What do you have to say, Dad? All right, folks. How's the fish? Good? Good. It was excellent. Get my jacket down a bit. There we go. Is it, it's the, are you in frame? Yeah. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. We have a beautiful night here at Chick. It's probably the last nice night of Chick, I'd say. And this is it. It, do it doesn't get better than this. It's still a good temperature. It's on, it's tomorrow is October first. Yeah. I mean, look at that. Absolutely. October second, say you're going to be sixty-two years old. <laughs> hey, boys in Germany. Yeah, what, what's the vibe over in Germany right now? Yeah, what, what's yeah. everyone doing in Germany right now? I don't know how's Germany doing there. Yeah, enjoying the sunset. And not a check. Right, gotta take that pan off slow, you know what I mean? Ooh. No, tomorrow uh, tonight we're gonna have a good bonfire. Had some good fish. We're gonna, we're gonna bring a lot home. Like Dad said, his birthday's on Monday, so we'll see how it goes. Until then, I'll see you guys at the fire. Are you filming? Yeah. Oh, it's no flash. No, there is there's no flash on video. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. So after a long day of fishing, picked up Dad. Had a good supper. We're going to get this fire started. We're gonna light it in a few different spots, make sure everything gets. Maybe you wanna take some of these dry pine needles there, Connor. No, no, trust, it's, it, it will come, it's coming. I do this, I do this every week. See, and just like that. There we go. Nice. We're gonna have a good fire tonight. We've got beautiful weather, it's not that cold at all. Mm -hmm. The goal tomorrow is to catch a couple more fish, bring some more fish home for dad's birthday. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have a good feast. Yeah. That's what it's all about here. So guys, it's now like seven in the morning here. Both Dad and I are up. What's it called? It was good. I slept pretty good. Woke up probably like three, four times in the night. Checked the time, and first one, it's, first time it said that it said like one o'clock. I was like, oh. Next one was like three, and then four. And I was like, you got to be kidding me! But it's a beautiful morning right now, so uh, we'll see. I have to drive dad back to Killarney and then I'm going to keep on fishing. You know the vibes.
They want me to look into the sun for, for a shot. I can't even look into the sun. It's nice up here, though. Oh, got, got, the, got the coffee here. Oh, yeah, morning coffee, morning kai. Oh. Nice evening last night. Oh, my gosh, you always have to make it so cringe. <laughs> well, you can cut it off. No, no, I'll keep, I'll keep it in there. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's what it looks like. Oh yeah, see, you now hit the middle, watch, and then what you do is you can bring that down to really focus the sun. Now how the sun is now the main subject. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's pretty dark, though. darker than... Well, yeah, because that's an old camera. You need the good ones, you need the new... Uh... It's darker than reality. When it... Anyway. Cooking up breakfast, got the oatmeal, it's going to put some water in. Kind of wish I brought milk because it kind of tastes disgusting with water. But yeah, the vibes are crazy right now. Look how beautiful that is. It's actually nice and warm too. It's like probably 18, 19 degrees at 7.30. The boat just chilling down there. Oh, look at that. Disgusting, have to clean this thing. I mean, that does not look very good, but still. Gonna have some oatmeal and then be on the road, drop my dad off, cause I gotta keep on fishing. All right, guy. Yeah, I gotta drive this guy home. I'm gonna leave this little island here behind. There we go. Okay, so we're at the same spot we started yesterday, and the conditions are actually perfect. Uh, the only thing is there's no wind, which is good, but it's kind of cloudy. They said it was going to rain today, which I was going to be like, you got to be kidding me, but uh, didn't end up raining at all. The morning was super, super nice. But, uh, yeah, the goal is some more fish. We'll try this bay. We'll do some, we'll do our regular spots spots I did yesterday kind of looks like it's gonna clear up actually but uh, I hope I can get a big one in here we'll try again for like 15 20 minutes it's about 9 o'clock or 9 15 some somewhere around there there was one point that this bay I mean my brother and I never got skunked every single time we came into this bay we caught a fish every single oh my gosh Oh, that was awesome. Oh my God. Okay, never mind. This bay has a lot of, this, this bay has pike. Oh, okay, it's still on. It's still on. Oh my God, I saw that bite. Oh, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. It's a good fish too. Oh, it's that grimy fish. No way, I've caught this fish before. I don't know if you guys can tell. I mean, he's, he's not even moving. This dumb, look how stupid this fish is. Oh, yo, that fish is disgusting. Whoa, that fish is disgusting. Ew. I've, I caught this exact fish. Now, there you go, he's out. I didn't even need to touch him, but let's, let's gill him. Oh, I mean, this side's not bad, but like, look, like, is that not disgusting? I do not want to eat this guy. Oh, throw him back. He's actually a nice fish though. Oh yeah, that's a good thumbnail there. Put him back in. Well, at least I got that a little bit. At least I got the fight on the GoPro. 
I mean, these batteries suck, but what was that? Five minutes, not even. Caught the fish. You know the vibe. Ooh. Got my reflection there. But yeah, I know. We'll see what other batteries I got. See if I can film some more. I'm glad I got that on film, though. I know you can't see anything uh, in, with the phone, but I literally, I have my polarized shades on. I was looking in the water, and I saw the biggest pickerel of my life. There was literally a huge pickerel, uh, like, just swimming slowly. And then I had this little pike on. This was the first time in my life where I, I, I was watching the pickerel swim. Like, I had it. And then I had this little dinky 20 inch pike and it was just not even fighting at all. And it came off or whatever, but I really want that pickerel. There's a huge pickerel in this bay. I know it looks like I'm just filming water for nothing though, but I had to, had to keep you guys updated. Not like you guys would even care anyways, but I'm trying to catch that pickerel. It was huge. I saw the spikes on the back and stuff like that. So there's fish in here. They're just not biting. So let's hope if I catch that pickerel, that will make the trip for sure. Yeah, so the GoPro died absolute joke the batteries suck so if i i'm gonna keep on fishing so you won't see any actual hook sets you'll just see them if i kept them in the net but uh yeah i caught that exact fish last week like the exact one it had the same markings it's disgusting it shows you how stupid pike actually are that just bite the same old shit so yeah i know i saw that thing hit you won't see it on the gopro though but yeah oh hopefully we can catch some more and the ones that you can actually eat because that one you could actually see like it's guts. It's disgusting. Don't want to eat that. But uh, yeah, we'll keep on fishing this bay. Then we'll go to the other spot. And uh, yeah, we'll just see. See if I catch anything. Let's go. That's how we do it out here. You already know. Another nice fish. Gillum. It's wrapped around in the in the line. Let's put him on the bump board. Oh, what is he? Look at that. Almost 30. Let's pinch that thin. Oh, let's go. Just over 30. What a nice fish. First actual good fish. Wow. Let's go. Look how beautiful. Oh, stole him in the live well. There we go. Look at him down there. What a beautiful fish. No more than five minutes in this bay. Let's go. Beautiful. Let's go. Let's catch the limit again. Let's catch our two. And then we'll be chilling. So guys, yeah. So I tried fishing a little bit uh, down the inlet. I missed two fish. Um, and then I fished kind of near the boat launch. Missed two more fish. Uh, the only one I caught was that one this morning. So... Yeah, it's kind of getting cloudy. There's no wind, but I thought I'd catch more in this kind of weather, but I guess not. Um, after I fish this little bay back here, I think I'm going to start packing up. I have a lot of cleaning I got to do. and I want to get home at a good time so I can uh, start editing this video. So, yeah, other than that, it was an amazing trip uh, with Dad yesterday. Came out, it was really good. Slept good too. I got a lot of energy. Uh, this morning was beautiful. I cannot complain. I mean, the wind and I caught, so three... I think 3.30 inches this trip, which was really, really good. Um, eat good fish last night for supper. Cannot complain at all. Kind of kind of just want to fish a little bit more and then get back home. I just hope it doesn't rain. I took a look at the radar. It doesn't look like it, so that's good. But, yeah, no. Got some fish on camera, which is nice. Unlike last year, where I only got one fish. The only fish, well, I got, like, two fish, but I missed one. And uh, that one I got on camera and it was an absolute dink. But yeah, no, we'll see. Yeah, no, it's a good, good season. Good musky this year. I think this year we have uh, four, five, technically five musky in the boat this year. I got two, my brother got two, and then our buddy Doran caught one. It was very, very small. One of mine was very, very small too. Colin has the biggest fish probably that we'll ever have. Uh, 54 and a half, which is absolutely crazy to think about. I mean, that's just, that's, that number is ridiculous. And he caught it like an hour and a half into musky opener. So yeah, I know, uh, be back at the camp. I'll just fish a little bit and keep you guys posted with that. See how things go. If I can get one more fish, that'd be nice. I'd like to keep, you know, two a day. That'd be nice. But other than that, yeah, time to go home. Let's get it. So guys, we're pretty much home. Uh, 
I didn't end up filming me cleaning up or anything like that just because I had to do it all by myself and I just wanted to go home. I have to start editing this video and stuff like that. Just clean up the boat, the truck, all that kind of stuff. So I had an amazing trip. It was awesome. I was really happy that my dad was able to come out. Uh, we had an amazing night last night. Ate some good food. The fish tasted super, super good. So can't complain there. Yeah, last time out there, most likely for me, I got stuff that I have to do. School's coming up and it's just like, oh, so. Well, 2023 was an amazing season. I was glad I was able to get this one on video. So many nice fish were caught. So many good memories were made this year. I mean, the weather was phenomenal right from the start to end. So if I ended on this trip, complete success. Thanks for watching guys. I appreciate it. And until next year, peace.